That's right. We're looking for treasure in Goodwood Champions. And this is our break, Kevin L. We're going to hit something nice in this. And it's our box, 212. You've got every spot. So we're not going to do any randoming. Uh, this is all you, my man. And what I'm going to do, we're going to be shipping this thing out to you. And so I'm going to try to keep this box in really good condition. And we'll be able to ship this box out to you. So let me see how I'm going to do that. Easier said than done. Should be pretty easy to do. Because I can see the edges right here. First, I want to make sure you realize this is sealed up really, really good. Before I, I try, I'm going to try to make the cut right here so it doesn't damage anything across the board. Instead of cutting across the top, you know, leaving a big scar right there. And I've just also broke the, broke the thing as I cut across at the same time. So anyway, we're just keeping the box in tip-top shape, and we're going to ship that out to you. And here we go. Let's see what happens at Goodwood Champions. Ho! Kevin L. Looking for treasure around here. Let's find it. And let's hit a big one. There are some huge hits you can get out of this. Who in the world is this? Diving champion. Wow. A very interesting diving champion. Okay, that is cool. Tiger Woods and the, the horse, of course, comes out. Uh, I'm not going to pronounce his scientific name. It is a horse, of course. We got a kangaroo. We're looking for some of the big ones to come out. And treasure, we've got three hits. And it could be anything. Seriously, it could be a first edition of Alice in Wonderland. It could be, a, I mean, not Alice in Wonderland. That was last year's Alice in Wonderland. And uh, it could be a first edition of The Wizard of Oz. That was Kobayashi, the hot dog king. Hot dog eating champion. That looked like a really wild picture of Kobayashi back there. There's a LeBron. Nice. All right, there's a Marky Ramon. We got a wolf and a penguin. Hmm. Good luck. I hope you hit something nice in the break. Kevin L. Let's see what happens. We have a Thomas Jefferson. All right, some good stuff. Wayne Gretzky, Gowdy. <laughs> you know, that's a good question, Alan. I, I don't know the answer to that one, but her auto goes for a bit. Alan, Alan says, well, what's a penguin auto worth? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how much Kobayashi's auto is worth either. Legendary hot dog eater. And look at this MMA fighter. Foxy lady. Got some foxy ladies in this. That was a foxy lady MMA fighter right there. Oh, my. Ho. 
All right, rings of Saturn. Some of these can be very rare indeed. And I wonder if this is one of the rare ones, wonders of the universe. Rings of Saturn comes out of the break. So uh, that is very nice. We're looking for uh, hand, uh, for autographed uh, items in this Wonders in the Universe. So this one is unfortunately not autographed. We are, that's one of the big things is whenever we're turning the back of that thing over, it's like, oh man, is it autographed by the artist? Uh, Kevin L. got the entire box, so this one's really easy. Oh, Max Holloway, MMA. So th this is all Kevin L.'s uh, pool shark. But uh, we do a random before the break, usually, to see who gets what pack. Nice, Max Holloway. I wonder if that's right from the shirt that he's wearing there, or if it... What relic it is. Event used MMA memorabilia. Okay, so that was used during an event, is what it says. Very nice. Event used an MMA event. <laughs> Alan, it's funny. Oh, what is this? Oh, my goodness. Museum collection. What is this? German army uniform from World War II. Oh, my. World War II. This is a picture of some of the uniforms right there. That's a picture of some of the uniforms. That's a piece of a uniform. And so very, very unique. Uh, it tells, you know, it's German. That's an army uniform, German here. Probably saying that wrong. But what a very unique uh, piece here. 13 million soldiers that were served in the army, basically, during World War II. All right, so that is very, very unique and interesting. And it, I think it would have been much cooler to get, uh, you know, a USA one, but that's just, you know, that's just, uh, you know, my opinion. Uh, certainly very collectible item. And we do have some, some German uh, fellows around here at FBB. And we appreciate our German fellows, but that reflects just a different time and things like that. So definitely any relic of the war is pretty cool. There's a, there's a nice one right there. Yeah, it would have been much cooler to have an American World War II relic uniform, but, you know, a German one is pretty neat too and collectible in its own way. You know, Trippy Mike, I, I did. I kind of thought maybe there is. I, I should check for blood, but it just gets too emotional, man. <laughs> we'll look at it again. It's a very neat piece. It could have some blood on it, but uh, it's such a such a. You know, the subject content really is very sensitive. You know, 
it's like such a serious thing when you're talking about an army uniform piece and there being blood on it it's actually a very serious you know <laughs> and we're just having fun around here it's a, we're looking at possibly squirrel autos <laughs> We're looking for rare stuff. We f we're finding it. Whenever you're talking about war stuff, it is very serious. But here's some nice, nice things coming out of here, and uh, no doubt about it. Good one, champions. Always a fun break. Love the World War II relic items they put in here. Uh, I think it's a very neat thing to have. Even if it is a German piece, it definitely is a part of history and a part of the war any way you look at it. There are several, and it just depends on how you, how you view certain items. And here's a Wayne Gretzky. And the Thomas Jefferson president piece. Some of these can be really rare. And so we're looking for some of the more rare ones. Lovely foxy ladies, tennis players, a couple of tennis ladies right there. And then we have the Gowdy Shark, politicians. And that is our Goodwin Champions break. Thanks for getting in, Kevin L. Ho! And let's take a look one more time at this war relic. Oh my, from World War II. The German Army uniform. And I wonder if it was a uniform that was actually used in combat. It does have some different color greens that you can make out. It does look kind of like used. What an interesting piece, you know. Relics from the war. Congratulations. World War II memorabilia. Piece of military history. Very cool looking museum type of piece, man. Awesome. Kevin L. Coming away with some treasure around here. <laughs>